What's up guys and welcome to episode 3 of my Real Madrid career mode. You might notice something different. It's not green screen, it's RTX magic. And I'm actually surprised at how good it looks. I mean, it's not perfect. It's not as good as green screen, but it's actually good enough. And I'm actually, actually do like that. If you notice me looking up there like at some random intervals in the video, please forgive me. It's just because it's distracting me to be honest. So my monitor is right there and uh, just let it slide. I'll get used to it eventually and... I'll be back to normal. We have the El Clasico in this match. And just before that, we have the match against SC Braga in the Champions League. I'm not playing the match though, so I'm not really interested in their tactical vision. But this is the team that we're going to be going for in this match. And let's simulate that hopefully we get the win. It's a 3-1 win in our favor. Nacho, Fernandez, Rodrigo and Alaba get the goals for the team. Now we have the El Clasico, the match against Barcelona. And we are actually on the same amount of points. They have the same wins, same draws, and no losses. So both of us in the league are undefeated. So this is the match where one team is going to go undefeated. I mean, unless we draw, but I would, I really wouldn't be happy with that. Our tactical vision, though, is obviously a tiki taka, and my plan for this match is actually to outpossess them and make sure we just do everything right so that we can at least come out with a win. As slim as it is, I still want a win in this match by force. And before we go into the match, let's start a quick training session, or rather, a quick press conference here. We've been on a great run recently. The team's in a position right now to make a serious challenge with La Liga eSports, EA Sports title. And yeah, we're actually in a good spot. Like I said, we are undefeated. Barcelona is undefeated though. So I need to know which one of these teams is hungry to keep this streak going. And I hope it's our team. I hope our players are hungry enough to get the win in this match i keep the undefeated streak i'm feeling really positive blah 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 let's go to the next question this is a battle for top spots in the table with fc barcelona your nearest challengers do you expect the opposition to be even more highly motivated well it's the El classical real madrid versus barcelona it's always a highly motivating match and everybody that goes into the fixture wants to win it so i mean are you expecting a real challenge from barcelona yeah i'm i'm obviously expecting a challenge I wouldn't really be happy if they don't give me a challenge. I don't want to win this match easily or something like that. So we're ready for the challenge that they pose. And I'm pretty sure they're ready for the challenge that we pose. A fantastic performance and a resounding win in your previous match. Looking good. Looking ahead to the game against your great rivals, FC Barcelona, blah, blah, blah. Um, do you have Barcelona worried? Of course we have them worried. And they also have me worried because they're a really good team, especially this season. And we are also a really good team this season. And... I mean, if we're not worried, I mean, what the hell? But yeah, I really, I still am clinging to the hope that we actually do win the match. And our players have the capacity, have the everything they need to win this match. So yeah, it's not about their state of mind. It's about our own team's state of mind. So yeah, that's the end of the press conference. If you guys actually want to participate in this, just drop your comments on whatever you need to know, whatever questions you have. Just put it down in the comment section and then I'll answer them in the, co in the first press conference of the new episode of every new episode yeah. this is the team i'm going for in this match Vinicius, who is already on a 90 is a striking partner with rodrigo bellingham has already gone up to an 89 i think he started as an 87 which is cool already also on an 89 that's really good to an 85 cruz i don't know if it's dropped down or not but mendy and militao as the fullbacks and alaba and rudiger as the full set as the center backs rather and then courtois in the goal Let's hope we do with the match. So if you guys are enjoying this video, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And let's go straight into the match. All right, so we start the match now. And like I said, let's try and keep possession and, and out-possess them at that. So that is what we need to do to be able to win this match. And that is not how to start, but yeah, they got the offside flag up. For, and well, let's try and not have them like penetrate our defense like that because that's that was completely crazy we got saved by the the offside flag there Pro probably wouldn't be able to do that next time but this is a good chance go please thank you straight up four minutes in and we have a goal with Vinicius. that's a really really good goal to be honest all right so they are probably going to try really hard to equalize and of course they did yeah all right so 10 minutes in and they have equalized all right that's that's cool all right so that's a good challenge from cruz and uh, let's release him here and is there anybody i can give this to like bellingham maybe or just score by ourselves and well that's exactly what we did and that's what was needed and well, there is the goal 
that will give us back the the lead in the match and i mean i wanted to give bellingham there but i mean i just didn't know if it was going to get intercepted or not so that was just the best option all right so he's free again and oh my god what an interception what an interception from cruz all right please and that was even offside in the first place okay what can i do here Let's try Rodrigo, maybe, and doesn't get all the way to him, sadly. So I like to think that we're actually the better team here. And yeah, that is exactly what... I mean, I legit just jinxed myself there. But let's try and defend this as best as possible. That is good for Mendy, and good for Mendy again. Bad for Mendy this time, but let's try and... Okay, I have no idea what happened there. How the hell did I foul somebody? What that what are these guys telling me? Alright, let's hope that he doesn't score. And god, that's such a good save from Courtois. God damn. Ball to Vinicius and what the hell was that? <laughs> Alright, I mean it's half time though, so it's it's been a good match for us. We have scored. They have equalized and we have scored again, which is um good for us so let's just hope that we keep this lead or even try to capitalize on it so alaba for some reason is dying and i don't know why i'm, I'm probably going to have to like change his um the, his um um training plan to performance focus so i would bring in vasquez for alaba and then take Militao to that side and then we're good let's go straight into the second half and let's hope that we can actually come out with a win in this match i like to think our pressing is actually really good but we are not capitalizing on on it where we when we do win the ball back okay straight to cruz back to vinicius and yeah we don't we are able to get a shot there and well the keeper does do majority of our strikers a, a really bad one there all right good save from courtois we really, really needed that save, and I'm absolutely loving it. Okay. Bellingham. Make that run. Why the hell is it many that's making a freaking run right now? Bellingham is through. Maybe. And that is just high. Just a little bit high. And it was a good counter-attack, but it just wasn't the end that we were looking for, to be honest. Okay. Okay. That was put on a platter of gold and we are not able to score from that. Let's try and smartly get this forward. And I said smartly. What the hell was that? That was an easy pass that you could have just passed normally. What the hell was that? I swear to God, if they actually score from that, I'm going to be so pissed. All right, that's good from Rudiger to put the young off. Bringing Modric in for Cruz. And no way that just happened. Hey, no freaking way that just happened, bro. Oh my god, this game is absolute shit. This game is absolute shit. I mean, there's so much that you can't do. And when the game just wants to, to do their bullshit, I, there's nothing you can do to stop it, to be honest. Absolutely nothing you can do. And this is probably a chance to win it. Yes. So all I need now is to score... How, how, the, how the hell don't I score that though? And match is over with that. Yeah, so I don't know how, I don't know how the Rodrigo didn't score that. I want, I want him to just shoot it, but apparently got blocked by the defender, which is kind of weird. I didn't know that would ever going to happen, to be honest. But I mean, we did still win the match though, and that's what matters. We have defeated Barcelona in the new camp. I want the training plan. I want Alaba. I mean, he, w I need him to be on energy focused. Energy focus, yeah, let's not do all our energy. And then same for Modric, energy focused. And Bellingham, I need to put him on balance just for the sake of it. And no, well, let's give him, no, well, hey, balance is good for him. And everybody, majority of everybody here is on energy focus. Rudy guy needs to put him on energy focus as well. And yeah, the whole first team is on energy focus apart from Bellingham. So yeah, let's. I think, I think I'm actually good with that. Player returns from injury. I actually did not see this, but Eduardo Camavinga has come back. And I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Hopefully he is fully fit. I hope. Yo, he's not fully fit yet. Um 
Let's hope by the next match he is though. Next match is against Rayo Vallecano. I'm going to be simulating the match, so I'm really not bothered about the tactical vision. So let's see. I think I want Cruz to play here. Then Ardagula will play where Modric is. And I am good for this match. Let's bring in Garcia. And we do get the win in the match courtesy of Valverde and Cruz. Then next up, we have the Champions League match against SC Braga. We're going to go straight into that. I'm going to be playing the highlights for this match though. So the tactical vision is kick and rush. So the, they are comfortable using a low block depending on numbers. In possession, they often bypass midfield, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so they want to like use long balls to go over our defense. We play a high line, but I'm not really going to be bothered about that really but well, let's see um the playable highlights i think we are good with the team i guess let's give jose louis a start here and then that's pretty much it let's hope that we can get the win in this match so if you guys are enjoying the video so far make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and well let's go straight to the match all right so it's the first match of the second half of the group stage and well we are currently first, if I'm all wrong, on the on the Champions League table. So we need to win this match to be able to like put ourselves in a really good position to win the whole thing. So, all right, counter attack. Can I actually make something of this? Maybe. And I have no idea what the fuck that passed. I was actually trying to give whoever that person was, but for some reason the game just wants me to fail every single bloody time. So Vinicius is obviously the best option here and probably could have made the pass a lot better than what it was and yeah we could have we could have done way better there and that was actually going to be a goal but the game was to focus up so <laughs> we have a penalty and jose Luis is on this i have no idea why he's the one that's on it but i want to give it to vinicius though i think his penalty isn't actually all that good. Uh, I think Jose Lu is actually the best person to take this right now. So it's what I would say. Top right. And yeah, the keeper was never going to get that. Never ever going to get that. So that was the first goal of the match. It was a really well taken penalty. Alright, they have an attack now. And we should be able to stop them easily. We do. No counter attack though. But we have a solo run for Vinicius. Can he go alone? Hopefully he can. If not, it's going to have to give Jose Lu, yeah, and yeah, he's going to get a brace. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. All right, 2-0. So we are looking like we are going to win this match. And of course, we do win the match. And it was a really good match. Really straightforward. We made the most of majority of our, of our um, opportunities. And that's exactly what I like. Good match from Jose Lu. But next up, we have the match against Valencia. Let's take a look at their tactical vision real quick. It's a kick and rush. Basically the same thing. No training session. Really not interested in that. So let's look at the formation real quick. Let's see who I want to start in this match. I'm going to start Cruz again. And... Uh, you know what? Let's give this guy a chance to start. And Kamavinga is actually better now. So I think I'm actually going to start him ahead of, of Chouameni in the match. And yeah, that's good. Let's see if we can get the win. I'm going to be playing the highlights yet again. All right. So first opportunity here is a cross. And we could give it to Bellingham. We could give it to Vinicius. But Bellingham looks like the better option here. And yeah, the keeper does save that. It's a really good save. But now Valencia have a solo run, which... Uh, Militao. Is that Militao? I think, yeah, that's him. He should be able to stop fairly easily. Let's just hope that he doesn't fuck this up. Oh, my God. Good. And, well, now we have a Real Madrid attack. We can actually give this to Vinicius straight up here. I actually don't know why the hell that player played Vinicius upside, but, I mean, I'm not complaining, though. Let's get this out to Bellingham. Who does not is not able to keep the ball there. But anyway, we have a Real Madrid counter-attack in the second half. And we are giving this straight to Vinicius. And yeah, he should he should be able to get this. Alright. And that is goal number two for Vinicius there. And well, good goal. And actually, I, I think we're definitely obviously winning this match. Real Madrid solo run. I think Bellingham has come off. 
because we now have whoever this is Brahimi, Brahim, and I mean, there's the option to give Vinicius the hat trick, and yeah, that's just something that you should just do normally. Okay, so he just did a backflip into the into the ad boards and probably died. <laughs> but anyway, we did we, we did win the match. Good performance from Vinicius though with the hat trick and well, good match. We are still undefeated and we are now five points ahead of Barcelona who have drawn one more match after after the loss against us. So we are moving away and away and away. So I really know my draws. I just wouldn't want to lose right now because I mean we're 13 matches in and we haven't lost a match and well let's just hope we can go as far as possible with this undefeated streak. Next up we have Cadiz and I just saw in the top right there that Carvajal has come back from injury so I think our team is going back to what it should be so let's take a look at the squad real quick so Kamavinga is okay obviously not going to be okay for this match for some reason and uh carvajal he's not he's not fully fit yet though he isn't so i mean he's going to actually replace um fernandez on the bench there but for this match against this team it's away from home so I, i'm actually tempted to go all out i'm going to be simulating the match though and uh, let's just i mean i'm still going all out but i just always prefer cruz to modric for some reason i don't know why maybe it's just a me preference or something like that but this is the team that we're going to be going with Let's hope we do get the win. We're away from home. And we do. Vinicius gets the goal. And Valverde gets the goal to get us the win. Now we have what is probably going to be the second toughest match of this episode. We have the match against Napoli. And I just saw a match against Granada, which I didn't see before. Okay, so that's going to be at the beginning of December. Granada are real better. So I'm probably going to simulate this one before next episode. Or I'll probably just stop here just for the sake of it. But we are 10 points on the Champions League table and Napoli is 7 points, which means if they do win this match, they would be drawn with us. But if we win the match, I think we are going to be set for the knockout stages. So let's hope we do win the match and prove that we are in fact the best team in this group. Not really going to be making any changes. Let Crew start the match. Oh, and let Kamavinga start a couple of matches. Now to Fernandez, maybe you would start uh yeah you start for alaba so i'm just going to keep alaba on the bench there valverde you know what you know what i don't want more to start this match let's him and cruz come in later on so fernandez um i want to give rudiger the captain armband armband rather and we should be good the match is a little oh a point required to actually go into the knockout stage so if we draw the match then we're good to go we don't really have to bother about the other champions league matches to play this is a match that we absolutely have to give our all we beat them in their own stadium so this should be a tad bit easier because we have our home crowd right behind us to back us and well it's looking to be a really really good match let's hope that we can in fact get the win here all right so chance for a counter maybe to give this to Vinicius no we probably should have taken it high but you know probably going to be another chance next time Oh, oh, okay. Thank God he didn't make that pass there because I completely lost guard of that. What? What? That was a clearance, but why was it that close to an own goal? No. Oh, and yeah, he was sleeping on that. So that is exactly what was needed. All right, come on. I think I still got that. And... Give this to Vinicius, who gets a really good shot on it, but the keeper was able to match the save. So I'm going to be giving this to Militao. Let's see if he can get a header on it. He does not, but Bellingham maybe? Or the Valverde? Yeah, he doesn't either. So let's try and stop their counter-attack right now. Rudiger, you got this. Oh my god. Alright, good save from Courtois. I mean, he got the near post cover there all day, every day. So, obviously, this is going to be a counter-attacking opportunity. Let's put Bellingham in the right position. And what the hell is this? Good save. Good save from um, what's his face, Courtois. No, that's not, that's not the right pass. Okay, another good save from Courtois. That could have been a goal at any other time of the day, but Courtois was able to save us there. Give this to Valverde and yeah i wanted to give that to bellingham 
but it's not working. Let's give this to Kamavinga, to Mendy. Let's just calm down here. Back to Kamavinga, to Valverde. Oh, Plata for Vinicius and yeah, that's a good goal for him. All right, Bellingham, it looks like he's in a good position here. And Kamavinga, maybe. Yeah, this to Valverde, who will make a shot, and that is also blocked as well. To Militao, to Kamavinga, to Vinicius, and I wanted to play that one time. Sadly, I couldn't. Good from Courtois, yet again, and what the hell was that? How the fuck do you even score that? That is just complete bullshit. I don't even know, I don't even know how the hell they do these things, but I just don't like the way the game is sometimes. Why, how is he scoring from there? Alright, so we're actually passing really well, and that was good, if I'm not wrong. To Vinicius, I know, my god, I need those passes to come off very well now they have a very dangerous attack and the person i want to switch to is not being switched to that is one thing i hate about this bloody game not even interested in looking at the replay because that's just absolute bullshit i know what i wanted to do i was trying to do it and it was not switching for some reason oh my god i don't i don't even believe that i fucking blocked that come on I absolutely hate what's going on right now, and you know what, let, let me even try and bring in a couple of players here. I mean, who would I even want to bring in? Kamavinga, I have no idea what you're doing this match, let me just bring in Cruz. That's pretty much all that, oh, Alaba. Yeah, Alaba, I completely forgot that I had, I didn't have my first team at the back there. I mean, the way he's looking, we've pretty much already lost this match, unless some kind of miracle just happens all of a sudden, which I doubt is going to happen, I don't even know how we lost this match i don't know how the player just lost all guard there and uh, it's just so annoying look like look at what happened just now i intercepted and the game just doesn't even help me out there ah uh, just get the fuck out let's see if i can release bellingham it's not looking like i can but finish just looking like a good chance and no, we can't do that either. Okay. Maybe Rodrigo can do something here. Obviously not. And that's pretty much the end of the match. We have lost it. Nothing I can say anymore. Do. That's the end. And well, I absolutely hate the way we lost this match. It made absolutely no sense to me whatsoever. But we move. I don't even want to think about it. It's just in the past. Let's just go. Let's just slide. And that's just the fucking most stupid way to lose a match ever to be honest in my opinion so we're no longer unbeaten in all competitions that's sad but we're drawing a point with napoli all they have is the goal difference and as for the la liga this is what the top five looks like we have madrid barcelona atletico madrid real betis and sevilla and we are still five points ahead of barcelona so i mean i can only focus on the on my um la liga undefeated streak it's sad that we've lost it all through but i mean we have it we still have this la liga and well let's hope that we can actually keep this in the next episode and uh, yeah the year is coming to an end in the game and uh, let me know in the comment section what players you would like me to bring into this team for the next half of the season that's probably going to be like in the next episode that i'm going to reach january and maybe make the transfers and all that so thank you guys for watching if you have enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next episode peace